first and foremost, for the record, I've never claimed to be a saint. I've experienced the good. I've done the bad. I've woken up with the ugly. Once upon a time, itching for some excitement, I scanned through the online gay personals. There was a wide range of men available. Bears, twinks, submissive bottoms, alphas, cross-dressers, slaves, and more. After disqualifying profiles with no pics or bios, I found a man who could fix my itch. 23, six foot tall, lean, athletic built, road cyclist, and age appropriate. As we exchanged online messages, it became apparent we were both fitness enthusiasts, and we loved the great outdoors. Therefore, I consented to the meeting. As I awaited his arrival, I tidied up my room. Upon hearing the doorbell, I buzzed the door open, and as the man appeared, I thought, oh shit. I've been catfished. Yet, I pretended to be unfazed. I invited the man in. Yet the man hesitated. So I asked, what's up? The man stated, I can't carry my bike up the stairs. So I walked downstairs to retrieve the bike. And as I picked up the bike, I thought, this fucker is heavy. Yet, again, I pretended to be unfazed. And I carried the bike upstairs. Upon entering my bedroom, I rubbed the man's shoulders and I prompted him to undress while I go get something to drink. Upon my return, with a cocktail in hand, I sat at my office desk, turned on my computer, and recited the man's online profile. Profile, 23 years old. Reality, 45. <laughs> profile, 6 foot tall. Reality, 5 foot 8. Profile, lean and athletic built. Reality, stocky, borderline, obese. Profile, road cyclist. Reality, electric bike with two battery packs. Hearing this, the man became very nervous and he questioned why I was reciting his profile description. My reply, what you told me does not match up with what I see. Either you are insecure with your physical body, you experience pleasure from lying to others, or you are seeking revenge for a previous relationship gone bad. Regardless, get out. Flustered by my statement, the man quickly dressed himself. As the man proceeded to the stairwell, I laughed because I knew it would be difficult to carry a 40 pound bike down the stairs. I knew this porker could not manage it. As he struggled to push the bike down the stairs, following behind, I asked him, why do you lie and waste other people's time? As the man departed, 
and I slammed the door shut. I thought I could have turned the other cheek, yet by doing so, the man would repeat his catfish behavior. Therefore, hoping to break this trend, I humiliated him. I opened a can of whoop As I returned to my room and sipped my cocktail, I hoped the man would learn from this experience. I hoped the man would learn to love himself. Regardless, the band played on and the barber kept on shaving.